This is an experiment to look at the reaction of aqueous halide ions with silver nitrate aqueous solution. This is a test that is often done at GCSE, but at A level, it takes on an extra part of the test. It is part of the group seven halogens practical done at rugby school, and it is experiment four. We're going to take each one of the aqueous halides, we're going to add silver nitrate to it. In each case, there is a precipitate. The precipitate colors are difficult to distinguish, but are often listed as white, cream, and yellow. To distinguish, we use ammonia. The addition of, first of all, dilute ammonia solution and then concentrated ammonia solution distinguishes between the three solids, the silver halides that are produced. So first we're going to add the soluble halide, potassium on all occasions here, to each one of these boiling tubes. So for you, this is the potassium chloride on your left hand side, the potassium bromide in the center into a boiling tube. and the potassium iodide into the boiling tube that is on your right. So to each one of these, we add some silver nitrate solution. The silver ion combines with the halide ion to form an insoluble silver halide. So the first one would be silver chloride, described as a white precipitate, the bromide, which is described as a cream precipitate, and the iodide, which is a much thinner precipitate, is often described as a yellow precipitate. Now, if we take some dilute ammonia and add dilute ammonia to each of these, we are able to distinguish between the halides to some degree. So if I add dilute ammonia, you will see that the chloride dissolves to give a colorless solution. The bromide does not. And the iodide does not. So we have distinguished the chloride because silver chloride dissolves in dilute ammonia solution. So you will then use the concentrated ammonia. We don't need to use it on the chloride because of course that has already dissolved. An increase in concentration of the ammonia will make no difference there. So let's first try the bromide. So add some concentrated ammonia to this one, and we'll add some concentrated ammonia to the silver iodide. And let's mix. And again, you can see that the bromide will definitely dissolve into concentrated ammonia although it didn't into the dilute and the iodide shows no sign of dissolving. So although the tests of white precipitate, cream precipitate and yellow precipitate are not always that clear, it can be confirmed by the precipitate's ability to dissolve in both, well, a combination of dilute ammonia and concentrated ammonia.